Hi, everybody. I'm back. Hey, Paige. Can everybody let me know? Just make sure. I just want to make sure. It's been a long time since I've done this. Make sure that you can see me and hear me. Okay, I don't know why that popped up. I just want to make sure I can see everybody's comments. You'll have to excuse my hair today. Um, somebody just messaged me, just texted me. I just want to make sure it was nothing important. Um, but I just am not, still not feeling it. I'm just, it's rainy here in Indiana today and it's just easier to pull it up. I have to wear a hairnet once I get to work. So I just didn't want to bother. Um, Hi, Janet. I'm just making sure everybody's popping on. Can somebody please let me know if you can hear me okay? I'm just going to wait until somebody comments that they can hear me so I can make sure because I don't want to talk if you guys can't hear me. I think every everything should be okay. Okay, thanks, Barbara. Hey, Nicole. You're supposed to be at work. How are you on here? Okay. So I'm just going to jump in and just start off by saying you guys all know what I've been going through the last two weeks. Last um, two weeks ago was the worst week of my life probably. Lost my dad on Wednesday. So it's extremely hard for me to do this today. I'm just going to be honest with you guys because it's still so fresh in my heart. Um, it was two weeks ago today that he passed away and... It's very emotional. I have Kleenexes right in front of me. I'm going to try to hold it together for as long as I can. Um, but Wednesdays are not my favorite day of the week right now. I told one of my friends last night at work, I got called on a Sunday that he was being taken to the ER by ambulance for me to get there. And uh, then he was in hospital all week. And they let him come home on Friday on hospice and he passed away on Wednesday. And I told my friend at work last night, I said, once I can quit living my life by those time frames, it was two weeks ago, it was three weeks ago, it was four weeks ago, I think I'll be in a better place than what I am right now because it's still really, really emotional. And like I just said, he passed away on Wednesday and then um, that Friday following five o'clock in the morning, my husband wakes me up, my pebbles passed away. Um, we have six Yorkies. She was the first. She's not the mom of the rest of them, but she was the first. I got her right after my mom passed away, so I got her in 2006. And I'm just going to be honest with you. I just wanted to nurture something after my mom passed away because my mom was on hospice for three weeks, and I was basically her primary caregiver. I took off work for those three weeks, spent every waking day with her, every waking hour taking care of her. And I think when she passed away, I was just wanting something to nurture again. Um, so it's been um, an extremely tough tough couple of weeks and I hope you guys don't don't mind um but this you know what I forgot that I haven't even transitioned myself over there I go now can you guys see me <laughs> sorry about that okay you guys I'm a hot mess I'm not gonna lie to you guys I just I'm forgetting things I'm trying to keep everything under control and I mailed out the um sea of textures class packets and forgot to put the cardstock and then had to turn around that I mailed them out on Friday. I think it was and turned around on Monday and mailed out the card packets, um, the cardstock and the envelopes and things like that, that I include. So bear with me. It's probably going to take me a couple of weeks to get back into the normal swing of things. But what I wanted to say, um, is I hope you guys don't mind, but one of the ways I wanted to start off today was just sharing a little few pictures. I know some of these you guys might have already seen, um, by me posting, but I just want to, to just show you my dad. I just, I just want to do that. So this is my dad. I'll try not to move the pictures very fast because I know it takes the camera just a minute to focus. But that's my dad and that is my nephew and that is my brother. So you guys, I have a brother and I have a sister. I'm just going to try to move these where I can get them out of the way. This one is of my mom, my dad, and that is my firstborn son. So this is. You know, all these pictures, we did a tribute video, and all of these were my personal pictures that I have. And I don't know if you can see this, but this is my little baby. He's 26 now, so he's not much of a baby. My dad always owned his own business. I mean, he was a car fanatic. We either owned car lots, 
And a lot of times he owned all of these at once. <laughs> it was a car lot, towing service, filling station, mechanic. I mean, it was just an all around thing. Um, anything to do with cars, you know, he was on rotation with our local police department. Um, he would go out on crashes and people that needed toes. This is one of my favorite pictures of me and my dad. And I just followed him around like I was his little shadow. You know, I don't care how old you get. I don't think you stop being a daddy's girl. <laughs> so this was, um, at my first marriage. Um, I'm divorced and my husband, current husband is my second. So, but I just loved that picture. My dad, I can remember that day so well, making sure he knew what to do. This is my oldest son at his second birthday party. And I just adore this picture. I mean, I just adore that picture. I believe my dad had to bribe him with money to get him to give him a kiss. This is my oldest son when he was um, just a couple of months old, right after he was born. Grandpa giving him snuggles. And this is my dad when he was very, very young. I think he was early 20s in this picture. He was so skinny. I don't know if you guys can see his Adam's apple. That was quite the topic for a lot of people in that photo over the years. And this is my youngest son again when he was not feeling very well and Papa was giving him hugs. Trying to make him feel better. My dad and my stepmom babysat for me at my first job. I worked third shift when my boys were really little. And so my dad and my stepmom babysat for me. And I always knew my kids were in good hands. My dad loved kids. He, when I had the daycare, I, I owned my own daycare for 10 years. And my dad just, he would always ask me about the kids. Always comment about the kids. This was at my grandma's, which was my dad's mom's birthday party. One of the last ones. I wanted to share one of the wreckers that he had. This was one of his towing trucks that he owned. And this is another. And my dad bought this truck brand new. Ripped out the bed made it into a wrecker. Sometimes me and my mom would scratch our heads and be like, what is he up to now? But you know what? This was uh, at Christmas several years back. I want to say 2014. I don't have the date on the back. But that was several years ago. He was in much, much better health. And then the final one, this is my mom and dad. And my mom was pregnant with me. And I love to, my mom tried um, to tell me the story. They tried for a very, very long time, and she didn't think she was going to be able to um, have um, me, and she ended up, you know, she, my dad, you know, used to joke with me and give me a hard time, and I forget what it was he said to me once, but my mom told me, she said, there's one thing about it, you were definitely wanted and definitely loved, and I knew that as a child growing up, I had hands down the best parents, so... Okay, enough about my poor dog and my dad. I don't want to start crying. I'm very proud of myself. I held it together. I thought I would be a, a bobbling mess. Um, okay, I'm just going to read. I have, uh, Mary, I have a brother, a younger brother, and an older sister. My sister is six years older than me, and I want to say my brother is 13 years younger than me, but I, I could be wrong on my brother. Okay. I'm just reading comments, guys. Yes, uh, Vicky says, crafting helps. I was in an all-day retreat Saturday. Yeah, it, it, it really does. And, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I have that retreat in July. I, I'm I'm shaking, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm very nervous today. It's been a while since I've done this. I'm just full of emotions. <laughs> um, but I had that retreat um, uh, scheduled already for July 21st when this happened. So I have not had time to do anything to prep for that. And I was honestly thinking about just not doing it. I'm just not going to do it. I can't do it. And I kind of felt guilty, you know, grief. It, I kind of felt guilty when I would come down here in my craft room and I would start doing stuff and then I would forget for a few minutes and then I would think about it. And then I would be like, how can I be enjoying myself? How can I be happy? I'm supposed to be sad right now. And then it was just like with my mom, when she passed away, I told myself, you know, my dad would not want me to be like that. My dad would want me to be happy. He knew how much I enjoyed stamping, how much I love stamping up. And he knew how much, um, it meant to me that I was a display stamper. So I got to quit talking to you guys cause I'm getting emotional about it. So I'm going to move on to something else, but I do want to say thank you all for your prayers and your support. I'm an emotional person. I was going to try to hold it together and not do this today on here. I'm sorry. And I know you guys all understand and I don't need to apologize for it, but 
I just want to say I have a stack of cards behind me that you guys have all sent me. And it has meant the world to me that you guys sent it to me. Thank you so much. So, I'm just going to talk about today's giveaway. What a way to bring you guys down, right? I'm so sorry. Just let me pull it together here in just a second. We'll move on, I promise. Okay. So today I have an awesome card I'm going to share with you and I decided to do um, a little bit different. I'm going to give away the stamp set and a free card packet for the card I'm going to demonstrate for you guys. Okay, now I'm just trying to get the water out of my eyes so I can see clearly. I'm not crying. So I'm going to give away Dandelion Wishes and the card pack to make the um, card that I'm going to demonstrate today. I won't be able to send the rhinestones that I'm going to use. And I'm not sure. I'm going to use this 3 8 inch ribbon. Um, it's a little bit narrower. Can you guys see that? But I don't know if I have enough to send that. So if I don't, I'm just going to send this new ribbon that's in the new catalog. And it's a half inch width. So it's going to be a little bit wider. I chose to use this one because it has the little bit of the silver specks in it. So, um, I'm not sure which one I'll be, if I can, I will send that silver one because it does, I think it does blend a little bit better with the card. So the way you can earn this card pack, I'm just going to do two this week. Oh, I got a wrong stamp set in there. So you guys know I like to give away, um, for sharing the broadcast. So I'm going to give away two. One is going to be for commenting and sharing and I'm also going to throw in, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, because I'm trying to gain, um, hey Nicole, I just, I just seen her comment. She said she's on shutdown for two weeks. Okay. Good to know. Now you need to come visit me for two weeks. <laughs> um, but anyway, if you guys share the video, comment, or subscribe to my YouTube channel, this is, uh, what this giveaway is going to be for. Okay. That's the stamp set and the free card packet. And then just for commenting or sharing, um, the video, you can also be entered for the free card packet. So there's going to be two giveaways for this week, okay? And I know I've already seen a lot of you said that you have already shared. I'm just going to pull my comments up so I can make sure that I am getting um, the most current, just in case anybody has any questions. Okay. So let me see what else I want to go over. Okay. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is um I don't have my June um hostess code normally like I do on the screen with me right now because honestly I have not done a Facebook live since May um the end of May so it is on my blog if you guys want to head over there and you can um see the free card packets how you can earn those and the hostess code that you have to use so I am offering right now um a rooted in nature online class to go. And the reason I'm, or the way that I'm going to do this one is a little bit different is, um, normally I'll do a stamp set inks and some embellishment that you guys order, but this stamp set, because it's a two set stamp set, the bundle and the framelits is 72 75. So, um, I decided not to use any inks or have you guys, you know, purchase any inks just to keep the cost of the class down for you guys. So the colors that I'm going to use could be anything. Um, there are a lot. I'm just not going to name them all off right now. Um, one of them is Coastal Cabana. I can remember that one. That, has, that card color has really, ink color has really grown on me. I wasn't around for its first launch when it was available, but I am really loving it right now. Um, so this is all you're going to get. This is all you're going to have to purchase in order to register for the class is the stamp set and the framelits. And then um, I will send you the card packets like I normally do with the envelopes. We normally make four cards, eight total. I do two of each design. But this one, I'm going to be doing six designs. So you'll get enough cardstock to make 12 cards. So that is an awesome deal. So um, if you want to register for that, you can head over to my blog. And all the information is there for that. And then the next thing... You guys are, I always do my business stuff first and get all that out of the way and then do the card demonstration last. So those of you are, um, that's watching this on the replay, 
Um, if you want to fast forward and just get to the card uh, demonstration, that's fine too. But like I just was telling you guys that um, my escape to create summer retreat is July 21st. I only have a very few spots left, but I wanted to get it filled before I closed it. I did not get to promote this like I wanted to with everything that came up. I didn't get to talk about it. I, like I said, I haven't done my Facebook lives since I want to say May 30th was the last one I did. So I didn't really get a chance to talk about it. So basically what this is, I'm going to transition to another screen. You can bring your own projects to work on or just, and I'm just reading what I have here, or enjoy the day making, the make and takes I have already planned out for you. I'll have all my supplies for you to use to create your very own projects. Um, I'll have my big shot. I actually ordered a second big shot, a second paper trimmer. I'm going to bring all my punches, my stamps, my inks, everything. Um, so if you guys are working on scrapbook pages or anything like that, you are going to be able to work on all of that using my supplies. The only thing I'm not supplying for this is cardstock. You would have to bring your own cardstock. I am providing the cardstock for the make and takes that you guys are going to make. Everybody that registers, um, you're going to get a goodie bag filled with over $35 of goodies for you to use throughout the day to make six, to make the six make and takes. And you're going to have enough left over to take home. It's not like you guys are going to make the make and takes and be your supplies are done. You're going to have extra to take home. Um, I'll be handing out three pillow gifts throughout the day. I'm going to have snacks, a little candy bar set up, coffee, tea, and water. And you can opt in to take the boxed lunch or um, you can say, no, you don't want, you don't want to have the boxed lunch and it'll be a little bit cheaper. And then you can leave and, and go get your own lunch, whatever you want to do. Now the early bird registration, you know, it closed on June 4th. So that is already over. Um, but the registration after June 4th, the lunch is $81 and you need to pay $40.50 um, the day that, that you register and I send you the invoice. Without the lunch, it's $73.50 um, $73. um, and the, the, the deposit is $36.75. And then I put the balance is due with by June 25th. I am going to keep this open. Um, for another week because I have not got to promote it like I wanted to and I've got those few spots that I would love to get filled um, so I'm probably going to close it July 2nd is going to be the last day that anybody can register and if you are one of my online customers and want to take this class online um, the retreat in a box is 8150 um, 4075 after June 4th, it's 91.50 and the deposit of 45.75. And you know, the, the balance is gonna have to be paid before I can um, order everybody's card supplies and the goodie bag items and things like that. So I would love to have for you for, for you guys to join me. Um, I'm really looking forward to it and it's really helping me get my mind back focused where it needs to be. Um, and not just on bad things here lately. So it's, it's really been therapeutic. And a lot of you have said that to me about how therapeutic stamping is. And I couldn't agree more. I mean, stamping up just means so much to me. And I know that that probably sounds goofy to some of you people, but stamping up just, it is, it really does something for my soul. It really does. Like I enjoy it. I think it is a way to, to release your creativity. And I, like I've shared with you guys, I, I'm not an art artistic person at all. I cannot even draw stick people, but with stamping, I just really enjoy making these cards. I enjoy sharing them with you. I have made so many friends with you guys online that I've never even met before, but I feel like I already know you. I feel like some of you guys online care more about me than the people that know me and have met me in person. So that's a great thing to say, I think. Um, but my, my local card and coffee class is going to be this Saturday. It's from three to five. It's at the new location, Miller's Mary Manor. Um, we'll make three cards. It's $10, um, but it's free if you make a minimum purchase at the event, if you place an order. If you bring a friend, you're going to get a goodie bag. You can just pick a goodie bag off the table. Um, and if you've never attended before, I'm going to have a free class pass um, so you, you won't have to pay that day. Um, so if you're interested in that, if you have any questions, just send me an email. And then um, I also want to share with you a new promotion that's going to start in July. So Stampin' Up! is going to um, 
if you sign up as a demonstrator from July 1st to July 31st, they're going to offer one free ink pad assortment of your choosing as part of your regular demonstrator starter kit. $99 for $125 worth of products. No matter which ink pad assortment you choose, it's an incredible value. Um, I am just reading off the flyer. So you can choose between the in color, the brights, the neutrals, the regals, and the subtles. So if you've been thinking, I'm still trying to recruit people. I'm still trying to grow my team. I've had a rough start to this year. Um, to, to be honest with you guys, I, I emailed my team last night and kind of told them that, um, you know, I have to apologize. I feel like that you guys have been a little bit robbed. I started off the, the new year with, um, doing my craft room and that kept me, you know, March and April was kind of a, a wash out for me. And then May was pretty good. I was kind of back on schedule in May and then we all know what happened the last couple of weeks. So I kind of emailed them and told them, you know, please, you know, forgive me for ever, the distractions. We normally have team meetings and I check in with them a lot more and um, things like that. So I just wanted to make sure that they were still in my, in my thoughts. I hadn't forgot about them. And I just want to share this one more time. I know that June took me down in my sales, <laughs> but I'm a fighter. Um, I'm a dreamer. My dad was a dreamer, you know, and I just want to tell you guys that I've not given up on earning the Greek Isle trip. I am still going for it. I'm going to try my best to, um, to earn it. I've got a, a hard road ahead of me if I do, but I'm not giving up. I, I have until September 30th to earn this trip and I'm going to give it all my, all I have, all the gusto. I'm throwing it all in. I told my husband last night when I was leaving for work, I said, wouldn't it be awesome if I did earn that? What a way to end such a horrible start to my 2018. It started off really well with being chosen to be a display stamper. I was ecstatic over that. Um, that was great. But always, you know, I told my husband, I just like my business started growing. I've gotten more YouTube followers, more Facebook followers, more people taking my classes, just everything's growing. But in the back of my mind, I kind of knew what was coming with my dad. And I shared that with my husband the other day that, you know, I keep thinking to myself, this is my year. I'm going to, I'm going to do it this year. But I kind of knew it's not going to be all that you think it's going to be cracked up. You're going to have some road bumps. And those were two weeks ago. Um, but in order to do this, I need to over double my sales. To be honest with you guys, I'm just going to be honest with you. I have to double my sales. And um, how I'm going to do that is with my card classes that I do, my online card classes that I do. And I'm going to be throwing in random that's not on my list. If you guys have come to my card classes and, and you, I give you a two month, um, set schedule of my classes. And I think that's even posted on my blog, but I'm going to be throwing in little bitty classes. And what I mean by little bitty classes, is going to be just a stamp set, no framelits, a cheaper class, but we're all going to, we'll have the stamp set. We'll have the inks and things like that. So the next one I'm going to be sneaking in here. I'm going to try to do it this weekend is using the stamp set I'm giving away today. Um, the dandelion wishes. And I had somebody email me today. They um, signed up for the rooted in nature class and um, they already had that stamp set. They knew somebody, a friend, a family or something like that, that is a demonstrator. Um, and she already owned it. And you can substitute as long as you spend the same value that the other people that are taking the classes spend. I'm absolutely fine. If you have the inks, you can substitute them. The stamp set, just like I told her, absolutely just make sure the card class, um, the, the bundle for that is $72.75. So that's what you have to spend before you're taxing um, the tax and shipping and handling and things like that. Um, and I do want to let the people know that signed up for the Sea of Texture. Um, you guys have already received your your supply kit for your card class. You've already see should have received the um, the card stock and the envelopes that I forgot to mail in that packet. Those went out, I think, Monday or Tuesday. I can't remember now. But you should have already received that. I'm working on the videos, and hopefully you'll have the videos before the weekend. I'm trying my best to get them done. I'm working on them right now. Please be patient with me. I'm sorry. I know it's frustrating when you do online shopping and ordering from people, and there's delays and things like that. That's that's never good. We're, none of us are ever happy about that, right? Okay, I'm going to switch over now. I'm going to check first just to see if anybody has any questions. Um, I am going for it, girls. Karen and Geneva are telling me go for it. Okay, Marianne, check back later. 
Thanks, you guys, for saying I can do it. And thanks for sending the love again. Um. Oh, thanks, Barb. She said she just subscribed to my YouTube channel. Oh, and I, you know, you guys that are saying you wish you lived closer, you can take the retreat in a box. I totally forgot to mention this. The um, Escape to Create retreat, you can do that online. I'm offering it. It's called a retreat in a box. You will get absolutely everything that the people that at the local event that attend local will get. The only thing you're not going to get is the lunch. I mean, you're going to get the candy. You're going to get the goodie bag. You're going to get the supplies in the goodie bag. I'm going to send you a video. We'll unbox everything that's in your box. I'll explain what everything is. I'll do the video showing you how to put everything together that the local people are putting together, the make and takes, um, all that kind of stuff. You guys will get 100%, just like on my online class, I'll do videos um, corresponding with the, pro with the projects that we're making, okay? So let me just transition over here so you guys can see. So this is, I love heat embossing. You guys know I love to heat emboss. Um, in the emboss resist technique. I also love that. But this is the card that I came up with last night to make. And we're going to do a little bit of heat embossing. So our card base is basic black. And it's five and a half by eight and a half. And then you need to score it at four and a quarter. And then this piece of whisper white is four by five and a quarter. And I ran it through the tuffeted um, dynamic textured embossing folder and I'm just going to hold that up there just a little bit closer so you guys can see right there that it's been ran through that and I'm going to do it I'm going to demonstrate that here in just a minute um and then you have another layer this one here a basic black is two and three quarters by three and three quarters and then another piece of whisper white that's two and three quarters by three and a half and then we're going to use the um, basic rhinestones the silver embossing powder and then, like I said, that 3 8 inch ribbon. So I'm just going to leave my card there. That was, I don't know if that is, maybe if I slide it, I don't know. Nope, too much light there. I'm just going to try to leave it um, in, the, in the frame because I had somebody comment once. It was nice to see what I was working on. I think it's hitting the light. Maybe I can leave it right there. I don't know if it's going to be in my way. If it is, I will have to move it. So we're going to use, like I've already said, the Dandelion Wishes stamp set and the Tuffeted Dynamic Impressions folder, embossing folder. And this one is one of those thicker embossing folders. So we don't need to use two of the, the um, our plates. We only need one. So one plate. So let's just do that first. I hate putting my arm up there, you guys, but I have to. I can try to reach around, but that's where I keep all my supplies at that I'm going to need for the card. Is right in front of me okay so I am gonna move the card just really quick while I run this through there so you guys can see and I'm sorry it's kind of close up but that is the best I can do with the way I had to arrange my camera so what I do is I open up my folders where the Stampin' Up! logo is down and whatever I want my card front to be that's where I place that and this one is kind of neat because it has li the line right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I just kind of lined mine up with that to make sure I had it somewhat straight. And then we're just going to run that through. I always do it twice. You don't, you don't have to. I mean, it embosses it the first time. Usually when I'm standing over where I normally have my big shot, I do it this way. So it's like um, away from me instead of sideways. I find that hard to kind of do it. But can you guys see that now? How pretty that is? I love this embossing folder. I almost missed this one and then the Subtles um, embossing folder that I have used that. My card class that I'm having on Saturday, we're going to use that. I want to say on two of the three cards that we're going to make. Okay, so then I'm just going to take, just because I already have this out and we're doing it. It's right in front of me. I'm just going to take some of my ribbon and just grab my snips and I'm just cutting it to make sure that I have enough to fold around each side I already did my bow because I didn't want to struggle doing it I knew today was going to be hard enough so I didn't want to have to get frustrated that I couldn't tie a bow on camera so I'm just going to you don't want to pull it tight because you don't want your cardstock to kind of bend and then I just tape mine like that and just leave it and then you can adjusted I think I have this side up just a bit high let me see if I can if I can pull the tape up I will and move it but if not I'm not gonna 
not going to worry about it too much because it wasn't too off. But let's see. I don't want to rip it. Got one little piece and it's tearing. Okay, I'm just going to leave it because it's kind of tearing my cardstock and I don't want that to happen. Normally it, there we go. There I go. Okay, so I just put my tape on like that. I'm going to wait to put the bow on here in just a second. So I'm just going to grab the um, two and three quarters by three and a half. And I'm going to grab my stamping pad. And then I'm just going to take the embossing buddy. And this is a great tool to get all your fingerprints and things like that off of your cardstock before you stamp. And so we're going to use Versamark. And since this is a bigger stamp, I'm just going to apply the Versamark this way to the stamp just to make sure I get it all over and that I don't miss any of my images or the details of the flower. Make sure you have your paper pretty straight. And we're going to do this up towards the top to make sure that you have room for the sentiment at the bottom. And we're just going to do that. And what I did to make sure that I could see that image was, and then I get these little containers at the Dollar Tree along with the little spoon I get at the Dollar Tree. And I just find they just work so well for this. And I'm just going to give it one more just to make sure. And then I always like to flick it at the on the back to make sure you get any excess powder off. Lay that back down. And then you're just going to ink up the sentiment. And this one, you just want to make sure you get all that Versamark all over that to make sure you have a good um, impression. And then just pull that up. And this one, I can already see before I put the embossing powder, I went above, it kind of like got on the stem. So we'll see what it looks like. I think it's going to be okay. I'm, I think you're still going to be able to, to read the sentiment. So I could have stamped that down probably just a tad bit lower, but I'm okay with it. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to turn the heat tool on so it's going to be loud. I'm just going to wait for a few minutes for it to get a little bit warm. So this is our heat tool. You cannot use a blow dryer. That's one of the things that demonstrators always get asked. And no, you can't use a blow dryer. It's, it's just a different kind of a heat, so it wouldn't work. But you guys can see, I just love embossing. I love watching that when it starts to melt that powder. And you can actually see your image come to life and kind of do the 3D image thing. Just make sure you keep your fingers back too when you guys are doing this because the heat tool gets very, very hot. If your fingers are in the way, you're going to fill it. And you're going to move them really quickly. And I just like to go over it, you know, just make sure I have it done. Everything's melted really well. Oh, so it's in the way. And put that back. And then I always like to just leave it set and kind of let it come back down to you. Um, the, a, a temperature like cool off a little bit. So this is my card base. And I'm just going to give that a score really quick like that. And then I'm just going to take this uh, piece that we just embossed. I would suggest if you're going to send this, I'm only going to use snail. I used to use fast fuse for anything that I had embossed. But since we no longer use fa or sell fast fuse, if you're going to send this to somebody, I would definitely use um, Tombow, the multi-purpose glue. It's just stronger for you know, like something that's been embossed. That's what I liked to do. Okay, so now we have that, and then we're just going to take our piece of basic black, put some snail on the back, and you know what, I forgot to move the card back in view. I hope that one person that commented on that one time is not watching. <laughs> so what I do is I look at my corners when I go to put this on, and I don't put it down until I know, you know, I get it situated, and I'm just trying to make sure that none of my corners are going to hang off something like that. So I have that corner, that corner, and that corner all on my card. So I'm, I'm fine with that. Then I'm going to take the um, piece that we just embossed. It should be cooled down enough and be okay for me to flip over. It doesn't take that long for it to cool down. 
So I'm just going to put some snail on that. And this one I just kind of put straight on like that. And then I'm going to grab a mini glue dot. And my piercing tool. You guys know how much I love my piercing tool. And then I'm just going to put it right in the center of the card and then just put the bow right there. And for those of you that do win the card packets, um, I totally lost my train of thought what I was just going to say. Oh, I will be sending this card <laughs> to you guys. I was like, I know there was something I was going someplace with that. And then I'm just going to put one of the uh, basic rhinestones right there. And then another one just kind of there. Now, if you wanted to, you could really dress this up and do some around the back of there. But I just, I didn't want to do that. I, I wanted my um, embossing to be what was like standing out on this. And then also too, guys, if you, you visit, visit my, my blog, blog I, I are, it should have posted, posted at one o'clock when, when I went, went live. The PDF, the, um, the, the supply, supply list, the PDF, PDF everything, everything you need to make this card. And then if you click on the bottom of the supply list, um, it says supply list, but it's very, very tiny. And that's nothing I can control. It's the um, program that I use, the website that I use or whatever um, to do my supply list. So I'm going to lower that down just a little bit. I'm going to fix my camera. It looked like it wasn't straight. There you guys go. Okay. I am going to um, check my comments really quickly. Let me know what you guys think of that. Okay, I'm just going to check really quick. I have to scroll all the way to the bottom to get the most recents. Thanks, guys, for the hearts. That's so sweet. Thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel, guys. Okay. Hey, Michelle. Thanks, guys. You guys are the sweetest people. I'm telling you, I have the best customers and viewers. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Trish. That was my friend I met in Texas. I remember her well. Okay, does anybody have any questions for me before we go? I know I'm getting done rather early today, um, more so than what we normally do. We usually go for quite a while. <laughs> but let me know if you guys have any questions. What would she say? Okay. Geneva says bling is always good. I have to say that I agree. Okay. Um, so remember guys, comment and share on um, this post, this Facebook Live. Even if you watch the replay and you don't get to catch the live, you can still be entered in the giveaways. Um, the Price Patrol and I'll show you that again. So if it doesn't say live up in the corner, it, I'm not live anymore, guys. A lot of people get confused by that. Um, and I don't think that they realize that. But the giveaway is awesome this week. So it's the Dandelion Wishes stamp set, bring a new. And the card kit to make the card that I just made for you guys. And I'm going to send you one of the cards. And then you're, um, if you just um, comment and share... Um, you'll be entered for this card kit, but this one is commenting, sharing, and subscribing to YouTube. So, and you don't have to do all three, like to subscribe. If you've already a subscribe subscriber, if you comment and share, it's just, it's basically the same thing, but I'm just doing two giveaways. One's going to be with the stamp set and just one is just going to get the card packet. So, and then I post these, um, Friday by one, one thirty, I think it is, or one o'clock. I can't even remember now, um, but I'll have it posted Friday. So, does anybody have any questions? If you have any questions about the um, the retreat, the uh, Escape to re um, Create retreat, you can send me an email. You can PM me on my Facebook page. There's a lot more details on my blog about this. Um, and like I said, I've already had somebody contacted me yesterday um, saying that she had a couple of friends that were interested in coming. Hey, Violetta. And... Um, so I, she hasn't gotten back with me. So the first people to reserve are going to be the first people that get the registration. So they're time stamped when I get them emailed to me, that kind of thing. So if you are thinking about it, 
if you are interested in doing it at all, attending, um, I would do it soon because I don't even have, I, I don't have a lot of spots left for that. It's, it's very limited right now on the spots that I have, but you can do it online and the online um, version, you know, I can take as many of those as I can put the kits together for and the packages and things like that. So let me know if you guys have any questions at all. If you are local, please make sure that you attend my card and coffee class this Saturday from three to five at Miller's. And I will see you guys next Wednesday at one o'clock. Thanks so much for joining. And I just want to say again, um, I just so appreciate you guys so much for your love. I have so many cards that have been sent to me, emails, um, text messages, just comments here on my Facebook page. I just love you guys so much. And you guys are so sweet for doing that and being understanding. And I just really felt the love and support. I had cards that when I opened them up, the things that people would write inside touched my heart and made me cry. It's never easy to lose a parent. And now I don't have either one of my parents. So it's, you kind of feel alone in the world, even though you have people all around you and, you know, your family, when you're a little kid, when you grow up, that just stays in your heart forever and it's going to take a while to get over it. So I'm going to go for now before I start crying again. <laughs> but thanks guys so much for joining. I'll be back next Wednesday at one o'clock. I'll have some new updates for you guys from Stampin' Up! and another card demonstration and another price patrol. Thanks guys!